Hey guys. Okay. So we have like no <laughs> idea what the frack we are doing right now. This is just like a random. We're at Ali's, so and she's at work, so we thought yeah. we'd live. Yeah. <laughs> Not only we come up with a subject, we've been a little like subject stab recently. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> I'm about to say something that's choked. <laughs> <coughs> I've got one for you. Go on. If, say, like, MCM or Jamie yes. was to want to, like, announce a guest that would totally floor you. Oh, God. They've got to still be alive, of course. Yeah. But, like, who would it be? Oh. It depends. Um, what genre? Um, like right now, not like in the grand scheme of things. Right, right now, who would you like be totally killing me? That's it. It depends because in what I wanted to in TV rise, Invo is only. I was just talking to him on Twitter, and after Invo has only been in one episode at the moment, Jonathan Hall. Yeah, and he's well. Um, uh. Todd did, did admit that he's going to be in a few episodes. Yeah. And, again, it, from YouTube side, it'll be Jack Sepsky and Markiplier. Um, ugh, wrestling side, it's still going to be Bret Hart, which even, I know... You might have just yeah. me next year at this rate. But, um, it, it all depends on what thing and what section of the fandoms. What? Like to meet the girl who played the beaded lady in what in um, Great Showman. Killer Settler. Yeah. But I, you know me and last name pronunciation is not my deal. <laughs> um. At the moment, for me, like a total dream meet, Element Sprang, but not just cause Shadowhunters, but because he was in a kind of conflict and he was in Rain, and he was in Tudors. And he's popped through other sort of, and he's going to be head of section, uh, head of a, a mission in section thirty one in the new discovery. And it'd just be cool to meet him. Oh, sorry. I have a girl who plays. I thought she was artistic in discovery. Oh, Tilly. Tilly. Yeah. yeah. Silly for Tilly. <laughs> she's had her this top on, and she's kind of gone viral. This nobody else would absolutely floor me. But this guess I think, oh, that'd be awesome. Well, I've pretty much given up saying there's no way in hell I'm going to meet anyone because then Jamie usually pulls them out of the work. Yeah. But if we're talking, like, to die for guests, it's still Jason Carter and Dwayne Cameron for me. Jonathan Flakes. I know he's flaky, but... Oh. Hey, Flash! Hey, Flash! Uh, I know he's flaky Flakes, but he's still... For good reason! <laughs> I know. I, I think he waits till he gets his like the, 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 the signing bonus, <laughs> and then goes right. I'm not going. I'm not going. <laughs> I know it's good reason, but he's still. Don O'Brien. Yes. Yeah. Just to say, we've got the entire the, the team of cast. Well, no, apart from, is it Theo we haven't met, or is it or is Theo Dylan? No, I think Theo's. There's a, there's there are a couple from Teen Wolf who we've not met, but they're more, they've not really captured me like the original Teen Wolf cast as. You mean like, uh, get it together, Heather? <laughs> <laughs> like Daniel? <laughs> the cast that came after. So like from season three backwards? Season, season B, season four. The season three B, season four, really none of the cast actually captured me. Marina Sirtis, she was a cow. Like when um, I met her, she was a total cow. N none of the cast actually caught me. I liked her. Don't get me wrong, but nothing. None of them caught me the way Styles did, or the way Isaac did, or the way Derek did, or the way Peter did. Yeah, Peter caught you. <laughs> I think I'm a little bit in love with her. Oh God! I am so making you that top of everything everyone's ever freaking called you. <laughs> you'd, be, you'd be like, it'd be like a nightshirt. 
uh, at my first convention, Dragon Con, she uh, she was there, but there was a table with all these pictures, and I didn't know well, there was none that actually had her in, and then somebody started putting more pictures down, and obviously you got Diana, and um. I'm like, oh, it's Deanne Troy. And I was looking around the pictures, and there's this one from the back of a military van. And I'm like, it's got the SGC logo logo on, but I've never seen Marina in um, in Stargate. She comes around the back of me and just starts bollocking me. I've been in the most popular episode of Stargate. I was one of my favourite characters, better than the main cast. And I'm like, I'll take your word for it. Then I come back and I realise she plays a Russian scientist in like a, I think it was like season three. I have actually seen that episode. But... Oh, I've seen it six times since. <laughs> it's like, if you actually had a picture of her character and not like her in the shadows, it would have been a lot easier to recognise. Mm. Well, maybe not. Or, but maybe she actually believed it was a, a, a fake. Yeah. She's at MCON, right? Yeah. Next year. I might change my mind. And stoats might float. <laughs> I've wanted to meet her for a long time. So she was the cosplayer, so I'm a bit stuck. I'm kind of like I'm gonna go into meeting with an open mind. I know other people have told me same story as you. Cause she's been a bit with a but I'm gonna go into it with an open. Then again, meet you, with an open Mark mind. Shepard was nice to you when he was a git <laughs> to me. Who 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 is like? Not nice to her, to be honest. <laughs> I mean, if anyone wants to be like vitriolic, I'm the one who gets it in the neck. Oh yeah, she's drinking wine. Not real wine, <laughs> it's um, alcohol free wine. Because I can't drink it with my neck. I can't quote Shirley Valentine because I've got a really crap attempt at <laughs> a um, Scouse accent, but it just reminded because we're in the full, it's reminding me of Shirley Valentine. <laughs> If that comes in a, a play, we've got to go see it. Yeah. I really wish we'd seen the, the uh, Mira Sayal version, but I knew about it too late. Yeah. She's one hell of an actress. Oh, and yeah. a writer. Yeah, definitely. There's like, um, oh, yeah. uh, Team Wolf Dream Meets. All right. Um, like I said, I've not had the best experience with the European convention. I loved it, but it made me appreciate what we get over here. Like I said, I seem to I seem to be a jinx on like meeting people. Now, um, I'd love to do another European convention, but I'd probably like avoid Italy and do like Belgium or France. Germany's one I'm looking at because one of my friends keeps telling telling me I should go to FedCon or where the fuck it's called. Is it MagicCon now or something? I have no idea. The name keeps changing. I don't know. There's FedCon, then there's the other, then there's like the more Middle Earthy one. But they've got a lot of Team Wolf conventions. I've got a sorry. Um, and um, I was just thinking, with Dylan now like, coming back into acting, because he had that time off because he's a maze runner, mm. maybe bringing him to like a German convention, or maybe if this Monster Mash thing comes off, getting him like next next time, or if, whatever. Showing him that not all conventions are... But I'm a complete cuckoo. Yeah. Well. Well. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I just thought, cos Peter Ringfield. Of course. Yeah. Apart from one, don't say it because there's other people watching who are Team Wolf fans. <laughs> <coughs> but why would Peter come over there? What? No, I'm just a dream. Wales coming from because it's in Wales. Yeah. It, it could be or MCM or. Well, he's still, even though I know. Because, if he wasn't doing his medical thing, yeah. yeah. Even like he's gone back to medical side, he's still a dream. I just love to meet him and dress as a Tokra. I just got this vision of me kind of making it to Canada, getting it by a car, <laughs> and that being how I meet him. <laughs> oh god, that cow told me that he was a doctor in Cardiff and she'd been oh, seen god. by him. I'm like, I may not be that up on what goes on, but I know he's back in Canada. <laughs> nah, it's like um, Michael Wesley Smith, who played Jack in the tribe. Mm. The last thing I heard from him was from like he posted on the, on the tribe boards was that he'd been accepted to the bar as a as a lawyer i'd love to meet him again even if he has gone into like mundane work because he was a big part of one of my shows <laughs> <coughs> 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 
And I was like, it all depends on where you get asked, doesn't it? Like, yeah. who, who, who's your hero? So last week when I was talking to Adam, I was saying my five top female actresses to me. I didn't mention Michelle uh, Trachtenberg. <laughs> well, that really narrows it down, doesn't it, Flash? <laughs> I think the majority of the cast were male. Were there about four lasses? In Teen Wolf? Yeah. Yeah. Lydia. Alison. Alison. Uh, Kira. Kira. Oh, wait, now we're not with Kira. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, but you said, like, season four and backwards. Yeah. Oh, no, I did like Kira. Yeah. Well, Kira came in season 3A. Yeah. Um, hold on. Alison, Kira. <laughs> what about Ma- Kate? Kate. Malia. Oh, yeah. Um, oh, you're in the two mums. Yeah. And then there was a couple... There was another girl... It came in season, a couple of girls came in season four. And there's a counsellor who's like immortal. Yeah. Well, she disappears. No, I mean, her actress is immortal. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That woman has been acting since the early 90s and she hasn't aged. I can't remember her freaking name, but then again, that's just me. You don't be thinking how you wrote the girls in Teen Wolf. <laughs> I, I just seriously, like, um... I was, there was Amy Manson and um, Jemima Rupert and Amelia Fox. And then I think I said Indira Varma and um, Natalie Dalma is my top five. And then... <laughs> and then I, I said that's my top five girls to me. I came back from going out on Monday and, and Jamie had announced Michelle Trachtenberg. And I'm like, okay then. She rang me up and she's like... Guess what? You invited to my funeral. <laughs> I'm like, why? What's going on? It's like Michelle. I'm like, what? Harriet the freaking spy. <laughs> she's like, she's not one of the tribe girls, but she was like part, like a, a main part of my childhood because of Harriet. Keep me into writing. That'd be an interesting. If you met, um... oh god, if Beth Allen and Antonia Preble or any of the tribe girls came back over. Oh, thingy, um. Helps. She was in Neighbours as well. Probably Mich- Michelle Ang. Yeah. That would kill me. <laughs> she was in Fear the Walking Dead. Yeah. I said I said to Laurie, I said, um, if you ever get any Fear the Walking Dead people, expect me to be dead before the, the walkers even touch me. <laughs> no, it's like, I do not know what I'd do if I met Michelle. The yeah. tra- uh, Michelle Ang or Trachtenberg. <laughs> I'm, I'm, not, I'm not convinced I'm going to be able to say anything. Usually, I'm the one translating for her. <laughs> right, letters flash. See you, flash. We're just talking waffling anyway. <laughs> now, um. I don't know. Just. It, I've, been it, try- it, I've been trying to rewrite my my dream list, and it's near impossible. It is an island at the moment because I've met a lot of the people who I like, and just cast members who I like, but. Maybe not like enough to meet yeah. her, if that makes sense. Like, there, was a, there was a girl, I don't, I, everyone knows I'm crap with names. There was a girl who was in Game of Thrones. I don't mean to use the stupid family guy quote, but she got ploughed on a pile of hay in Game of Thrones by my favourite character, the young Greyjoy, right? And then I'm like, she comes, she comes to a few conventions, and then I'm like, yeah, 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 she's just a, she's a, she's one of Littlefinger's spies. I'm not majorly interested because I'm a great, I'm, a, I'm focused on getting the, meeting the Greyjoys. Of course, then I rewatch Magicians, and she, she's blo- she's bloody Jane Chatwin, isn't she? She's one of the main, one of the main two Brits. I'm like, screw my sodding life. I mean, there's a lot of the. At the moment, it is all Shadowhunters <laughs> and Castle. Oh yeah, year. especially especially since the twats cancelled it. Um, free flop. Um, but I think what it is with the Shadowhunter cast as well is they're so interactive with the fans. I mean, like we've been watching Justice League today, and one finally, the- <laughs> <laughs> I loved it at Ali's. There was. Um, I can't pronounce his name. Jack, Jack Yang. Jack Yang t- showed up in it and it was like, ah! 
Ali's like, what? I'm, I'm, I'm watching um, Lois Lane, and we're like, that's where he is! <laughs> <laughs> and then, so we treated him, and he liked both our treats, and... So, oh yeah, we're just watching Justice League, we've seen Jack Yang, he's got a smile, and he, just, and he liked it. <laughs> and then I said it was all epic to see you in it, and he liked that. I mean, I don't like suits, but I'm waiting for the next season to come over because uh, John Ho's in it. I'm not sure what episode he's in, we'll have to ask him, yeah. or at least I'm not sure the yeah, entire I, season. I've never seen suits, but I am going to make myself... It's... I don't know if it counts as a comedy, but it's written like a sitcom. Yeah. So I'm, I'm a bit, I was a bit iffy in the first season. I never really like got past like episode two. <laughs> There's a lot of new stuff coming out, but it's all kind of samey. Yeah. It's like um, this instinct thing with Alan Cummings. I thought it would be epic because Alan hasn't been anything major in a while. But I love him, but it's, it's like, yeah, you're a genius who works for the detective, but at the same time you... Trying to write a book. Hello, Castle. <laughs> Fucking, uh, the detective who can solve crimes with his nose on Netflix, which just weirded me out. Shh. I mean, I suppose if you have a look through Netflix. There's this new one called The Innocence that Carol was on about. There's well, something I was watching yesterday, uh, not yesterday, the other week, and Ash was talking about it as well. It's called Dis- Disenchanted. Oh, that you, it's made by uh, Matt Browning. Yeah. Matt Browning, whatever. It's not as good as The Simpsons. I don't think anything's ever going to be good. No, it's like, it's the same kind of thing as like with Family Guy. Like Family Guy is, I love Family Guy. American Dad, I don't, like, I, I didn't get it. And then Cleveland, I watched it, but it wasn't as funny as the other two. Like, it was like, I've only watched, like, Family Guy whenever she's been over with what else to watch. <laughs> It's not really my deal. Yeah. I mean, I find some of the songs funny, and I, and I like Stewie. Yeah. It's, it's not something I watch all the time, again, it's just that there's something, nothing else on, but out of the three of them, I prefer Family Guy. Alright, I've got one for you. Go on. Today would... Oh, I think it's still today. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's only about nine Would have been um, Michael Jackson's 60th, yes. right? And I said on Twitter earlier, my mum took me to see him when I was four. Yeah. And I guess to some people in my, in the gothic side of things, that would be counted as a guilty pleasure. Yeah. But even even more embarrassing and more cheesy than that, the next person I went to see was Peter Andre. Mm-hmm. Right? Who was your first gig? My first gig was actually the Smash It's Paul in his party. Yeah, um, what year? What year? <laughs> 19... 96. Because it's my first year at college. Can you remember who was there? Peter Andre, that's oh, right. not funny enough. <laughs> Aqua was there. Steps. Five. Feel free to ask us anything, guys. We're just coming around um, questions. Actually, five was won the competition. Uh, the ad competition then, and five was on it. And the whoever won that one went on to the main one that used to get televised to see who would been a contract. I have to admit, I've, uh, this is all over my head. Um, oh, it would go like even, in, even in a got, magazine kind even of Even before thing. I went goth, I wasn't really into <laughs> pop music. Um, kind of thing. And fa- so five was there. Was nine one one. I have seen nine one one, but I can't remember if it was on Smash It's Ball in this party. I um, remember a friend of mine used to have a major crush on, on the lead singer. <laughs> but I, I definitely remember Aqua being there. Peter Andre, five. There's a couple of others as well. Wasn't well, 96 uh, Ron Hansen's time? Yeah, they Hansen were, weren't there. When they were bigger over here. Yeah, but they weren't there. I would, I would still love to see them. I saw them, Wembley. Well, mm. can I say I saw them like that? And then some genius decided to stand up on this chair in front of me. Oh, God. Yeah, for years I used to think With You In Your Dreams was like a bad girl. Like who'd lost her boyfriend in like a war or something. Turns out it was about their grandmother. So I felt a bit bad. Yeah. <laughs> I still love the song, but then you went, when you realise you got the wrong meaning. Yeah. But then again, I guess it is a song's meaning is depending on who's listening. Yeah. It's like um, Honeybee or Brass Goggles. They're just randomly cheesy songs to some people, but they're the epically romantic ones to others, like myself. I suppose the song defines your own meaning as, as well. What it might mean to somebody else can mean something completely different to you. I mean, I walked into um, the 
into David Castro's talk at, at Italian Institute convention, and he was just about to start singing, and he said, "Oh, this song is dedicated to uh, one to one of, one of the uh, cast. It's how I think they think of them, the, the characters." And he sung it. It's this lighthouse song, life life house song, and um, he said, "Oh, if you haven't guessed, this is dedicated to Rosa." Because he had to stop because he wasn't used to playing the guitar. Mm. Spanish guitar is different to Italian guitar. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> and by the end of it, I don't think there was a dry eye in the entire freaking room. Whereas with me, I got the emotion of the song. I was more interested in his voice. <laughs> but since I've got back, I cannot get rid of that bloody song. I've not heard another lick from them, but that song is on repeat. And if I could get a decent copy of David singing it, that would be the version. It's like um, you when when you're younger and you get into people you're and you think they're cool you expect them to be into cool stuff into you the same stuff you are yeah and then you meet someone and you're like oh who's your favorite singer and say like with Gareth he was in Gareth David Lloyd he's into Tool who I I've never really been that into but they're in the kind of the right the kind of the genre I expected mm. but then he comes out with the Doors now. I faked not knowing who they were just just to get him to talk about them. Like, he was an idea of why he was into them. But I didn't get it. I like the doors. It, but, you, you wrote with the old music, didn't you? Yeah. My mum and dad both called doors. Uh, mum and dad, mum and brother both called doors music just like your wrist to. <laughs> one, one of my favourite doll songs is Rises of the Storm. Me. <laughs> I'll play it for you. <laughs> I think I think my musical knowledge up until Supernatural was nineties music. That was pretty much it, apart from Boney M and uh, Bass City Rollers, because Arjunine used to uh, adore the Bass City Rollers. I mean, I've been brought up on all kinds of music. My uncle is oh, and Bob Dylan. Well, my uncle loves, um, likes Bob Dylan. Yeah, my um, dad does. But my uncle brought me up on classical music. Um, up to Michael Field, up to Pink Floyd, uh, Tangerine Dreams, D. Lai Spam, Spam, um, was on, and then my dad, again classical, to football, Pink <laughs> Floyd, <laughs> um, <laughs> to it's a running gag, never mind. To um, kind of some of today's music. My mom, she's on Motown. Um, Northern Soul, um, up to music, today's music. Then I've got Midnight and Ali, who listen to, give us some bands. <laughs> Ali's more gothic than I am. She's into, like, Bauhaus and the, old, the like, the, uh, the proper goth. I'm more, like, new metal, emo, uh, yeah. operatic metal, steampunk now with, like, Abney Park and Steam Power Giraffe. Mm. With me, I'm not, I'm not so much about the genre as I'm about the band. Whereas, like, like she says, like, um, my dad's favourite bands are Fleetwood Mac and Bob Dylan. I wanted to shoot him on both accounts. <laughs> He's driving crackers. And I mean, ma'am, apart from Dusty Springfield, uh, she mainly listened to Rod Stewart. Gotta tell me. And I can't remember his name, but he's got, there's a dude with a statue in, in Liverpool. He's called, like, the, the English Elvis. Billy Fury. Billy Fury. Yeah. He's called the English Elvis or something. She's had a major deal with him. And then it's modern music as long as as long as the... ah the back yeah. <laughs> I think connection dropped out connection's then. knackering it didn't like my phone for some reason Shh. Uh, I'm trying to think of random things random questions random things uh... don't let me drive this freaking music <laughs> I've been watching our old videos and it's just me ra 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 <laughs> um, I don't know um, yeah like I said music it, the meaning of music it's more the meaning behind but uh, what the song makes me feel and uh, what song comes and to And that reminds me of a line from Xena. What? There's a musical episode called oh, The Dare. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, there's this room where every time they yell at each other about the past, it echoes till they're deaf. Mm. So Xena just shouts, what do you feel inside right now? Tell me what you feel. And it echoes so badly, it's like, dude, you really need to get your hand off the echo button. <laughs> but that is one of the best episodes. Yeah. All right, that's an idea. Classic show to get if any show that um, any that you you've seen was to get a convention. What do you think deserves it from the older stuff like mid nineties to early nineties? 
Oh. I'm sorry, but my, my vote is always going to be either Xena or B5. Or if I'm a conflict. Ooh. I would love to meet the uh, the, the, the people who played the the um, Titalons, the Arnons or. And obviously, uh, Alan Van Sprang. Kind of give it, kind of goes without saying. I get, I... Well, you got Star Trek Destination. De yeah. Discovery, that's modern. We no, um, the convention is it. Oh, Destination Star Trek. Yeah. Um, I was just about to say, like, a Star Trek one, but you got that one. Um, Red Dwarf. It wasn't. Well, there used to be Red Dwarf convention meeting. It hadn't happened in a while since the show started coming back. <coughs> Yeah, I've just remembered a video I've seen on YouTube. Ali went to it. Um, because like, the shows I watched when I was when I was a kid or younger, the um, <laughs> wasn't exactly ones you could have a convention for. Like, um, yeah, I watched like Xena, Hercules, um, Star Trek, but I also watched Balakis Angel. Um, well, you could. You could have like a, a, a an Irish Pride kind of yeah. for Irish TV well, shows. It's like what Victoria when I mentioned Bally K to Victoria at um, Enchanted. Enchanted for Room, kind of. Yeah, she called it basically the um, Irish version of Grain Chill. Yeah. If you were an Irish actor at the time trying to make it, you 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 didn't make it until you'd been in Bally K. Yeah. Um, so Which, yeah, I, I around that time was was either Green Chill or the Bill for us. I suppose Bally K. Um, just reminds uh, the guy played the priest, Stephen Tompkinson, not to throw himself off, off of any balconies. <laughs> I saw him in Trinity and he nearly yeah. went over the balcony. I was like, what? But, oh yeah, he is somebody who I love to meet, Stephen Tompkinson. Hang around Leeds Trinity long enough, I'm sure, <laughs> I'm sure they're going to use it again. That's if this show is still going. Oh, well, there must be a new series because. Um, oh, no, that was last series, wasn't it? <laughs> Forget I said anything! Um. Hmm. It was like uh, yesterday we learned that um, a lot of the Doctor, well, the Doctor Who cast and Jodie are going to a con in South, in South Africa. It's like you've done SDCC, you've, you've done. Um, you've done South Africa. When are you actually going to come back to England? I would love to just like before or after the shows the shows aired, just like go back to go back to my sector, go to Murfield and just accidentally kind of end up walking <laughs> into her or something. Go, holy shit! You're the doctor. <laughs> the fuck was Talis? <laughs> but she was living in London before she got the, yeah. the role, so that'd be a bit odd. <laughs> I can't even think of any like, of the kid shows I used to watch. Oh, a kid shows my vote will always the tribe. Yeah. I mean, I love Little Rascals. I owe a hell of a lot to Power Rangers. But the tribe is where I... All the good points about me, like, what little personality I have, I I owed varying members of the tribe. From Tyson and her spirituality to... Brain is eco style and Lex and the and his tell it how it is. Luckily, I never ended up with Xander's uh, Xander's fashion sense. I would have been screwed. <laughs> um, yeah. So again, again, ju we are going to get just a wrestling convention. Are we? Oh, that yeah yeah yeah. yeah for the well, I'm, fucking, I'm an idiot. Again, is it? I don't know. It's. It is a tough, toughy one, tough one. Because like this. I mean, somebody, somebody posted earlier there was going to be an audience with Brian Blessed, and my just, my brain just went, why? <laughs> what the frell? Audience with somebody like um, Stephen Keller or Patrick, Patrick Stewart. Stewart. That I understand. Brian Blessed, not so much. Um, I mean, what you're asking him about. Have you ever tried to turn your voice down? <laughs> Actually, people have meant that he's very, he is very quietly spoken. And you yeah, meet him. When he gets, but when he get, when he gets <laughs> passionate about something, you end up sounding like you're just watching his black adder start. <laughs> okay, yeah, a black adder convention. I'd, 
problem for me would be that one of the keys was missing. Yeah. Lars flash out himself. Yeah. Where have I been? Where haven't I been? Woof! <laughs> <laughs> okay, if you must have a musical convention of me, I know the... Anthony Rap. Yeah. I'm sorry. Has to be. Straight off, Anthony's there. Has to and, be. And, uh, oh, I apologise for pronouncing your name wrong. It's, it's Javier. He's the lad who plays Lorenzo. Yeah. Robin knows his name. Yeah, Robin knows everything <laughs> when it comes to musicals. Um, Jean Padon for me. He played Judas in the Jesus Christ Superstar 2000. Well, Tim Minchin in that case. Yeah, and Tim Minchin. Uh, Jamie Kimmel Bauer, Chris is yes. the Bendit. And um, Sweeney. Sweeney. Um, I'd, I'd say uh, Johnny Depp would probably get killed. Um, Everyone's like totally turned against him. Um, yeah, Shimon, probably. Um, John, John Partridge. Yeah. Oh, Grant Gustin, of course. John Barrowman. <laughs> totally. Yeah. Uh, Melissa Benoit. I know she was only in Glee, but not really a musical actress, but still counts. Um, oh, what's what's Joe's name? Joe. From Flash. Oh. Yeah, I've met him, I don't know his bloody name. Can't think of his real name. But but... He, was in, he was in Rent, along with Anthony Rapp. Um. That's pretty much it, isn't it? Like, yeah. All right, if who played Blind Meg? Oh, she was married to Sir Andrew. Yeah. It's she's thinking Phantom. Oh, come to me in a bit. Yeah, we know we're talking about. We don't know the guy who plays the the guy who plays the Phantom. Which one? The original. Oh, I'm saying the original. I think it's the original. It was um it was in some others to have them. And it. I have no idea. What he that was is. actually shot. He actually shocked people when he played Phantom, because in some of the other, he's just like this really like. Is it that like two lads come up from the, from like meet up like a few years down the line from when they were friends in school or something? No, yeah, I think I think that's likely lads. Yeah, some, yeah. Whatever s- happens, like lads. Some of us rather Frank. If Frank Spencer was this character's name in some of us rather and it's kind of like this idiot. He just like is Mr. Bean, but with more speech and more more about him. Um, he he used to wear like this long Mac, a bit like Cassie's, and like a, a flash of a Mac. I think he at like the, the French beret, beret, and he's ooh Betty and all this and oh, Michael. Sometimes I really think we're from different time periods. <laughs> Michael, Not like, just oh, I, apart. I can't think of his last name, but it's Michael something. Michael Ball, if that's not even. No, but yeah, yeah. he did uh, a little changes and everything. Yeah, but he's somebody I like to meet. Cause Jeremy he... Jordan. Yeah. I know I've already technically already met him, but. Yeah, but. Um, his musical side. Michael Ball just seems crazy. He just seems like. Yeah, he does yeah, seem like he's lost a few screws recently. <laughs> The other guy's name will come to me in a minute. Um, okay, a big, what, you Jackman. Yeah. Yeah, because like, he did start off in... What about the, your Scottish boy? Milan Rouge? Ewan McGregor. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He is somebody, not from musicals, but he's somebody... Generically. He is somebody who'll be like, wow. Because Lando Bloom. What's that going to do with anything? Going back, no. He, oh, right, yeah. Going, going back, back to, to people. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Alan, now, now it's... Oh. What's freaking Faramir's name? David... Oh, David Thewlis was... Um... Yeah. David Thewlis is Lupin. He's somebody who liked me. Yeah. Um, David... David Renham. That's it. Because when they did Van Helsing, I actually thought David Renham... Was David Fuller? Yeah, I made that. Yeah, that's pretty much the mistake yeah. I made as well. Um, but yeah, I like to meet him. That's it. And now after we got moved there from Dream Guest, all of them. Yeah, the in. thing is with the with the whole Dream Guest Dream Conventions thing. Yeah. It's you. You have this. People are saying main cast, mm. and Dream Guest and main cast are pretty much the same. It's it's um, subjective. Yeah. And like. 
I can't, I, my brain's not with it tonight. Uh, there's um, a study in English Lit where two people can watch the same thing and they both see two completely different things. We can both watch the same show and we come out preferring different characters. And on the grand scheme of things, the, the companies could say that your favourite was the main cast and mine was supporting cast. Yeah. But as far as I'm concerned, my favourite's main cast. Yeah. You know, it, it, it all depends. And then when the conventions come around, the headline is... Could be could be people that you just don't agree with, but yeah. it, again, it's it, other people like him. You don't you don't bad mouth a, a, an actor for getting the chance of a convention or a chance yeah. of a, a role. Exactly. You just go, all right, then maybe maybe it might be my chance next time to meet my guy. I mean, I never thought I'd have for her to do bloody um, conventions in, uh, until Sean. That's gonna be a cool meet because I. I love him in the Mummy and Mummy Returns and. Well, Mummy Returns, the Mummy for me, Mummy Returns is a bit iffy. Yeah. Um. It was in NCIS for a few episodes, which was cool. And then was watching that program. The premise was good, but oh, one of that free flop thing I've been waiting ages yeah. for. Yeah. Stitches. Yeah. And he showed up in that, didn't he? Yeah, he was one of the, ironically one of the bad guys. <laughs> then there was this show a while back called Sleeper Cell. It was basically. Uh, Undercover FBI agent infiltrates oh, in a, a sleeper cell, and I loved him. That's why he was, in fact, he was a bad guy. Then again, I always have a thing for the, the dark, broken, damaged characters. Hello, Derek Hale. <laughs> um. Oh yeah, Tyler's coming about Supergirl. It might only be for the crossover, but it's happening. Just as long as I just hope that they have him meeting Roy and entertain something. Like, you look familiar. <laughs> Or something like that. Or, have we met? Well, he's well. Roy at least is meant to be is meant to be main cast permanently now. Yeah. So you, you might get a shot. You never know. It is and only Tyler and um, Carlton who've been who've come over from Team Wolf, isn't it? Yeah. Oh no, they have the. She plays Artemis, but she's can't. They've, she's come to disappear. Artemis. Yeah. I think it was around the time you stopped watching. That helps. <laughs> Um, but she also played young Derek's love interest. Oh, Cora! Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, her name's oh. not Cora. Um, I can't remember Count's name. Cora's her sister. Uh, oh, me and names. Yeah. Um, but she plays young Derek's love interest. She's the one who nicks Black Canary's outfit. Yes. Just before the the, the, the character switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in Teen Love, she plays young Derek's love interest, and the reason he has blue eyes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm getting. I, my... I can't remember. She she does end up getting bit. I'm getting my girls mixed up. Uh, but yeah, I know I knew you meant I just got the names wrong. Yeah. That um I'm sorry, but Tyler and Roy meeting would be uh, sorry, Tyler's cat, Clark and Roy meeting would be cool. I'll get to sit on. We might as well close it because there's nothing else to do. <laughs> um We're just waffling here, mates, because there's nobody people that are actually watching. So what the hell I, is it? I do also hope that I know like we've it's just been on the film, but we do something similar where they have Grant Flash racing with Tyler. I know they kind of did something similar on Supergirl where they yeah. had um, Grant racing Melissa. Yeah. But I, I just love to see something like that. Yeah, but then you'd be torn as to who to root for. That's true. But it, I won, I go straight for Tyler, easy. <laughs> it would still be funny. I, I just think that the thing in between and it it's such sort of a different dynamic to any walls. Yeah. Uh, and I still I still say that Holland should be Lois. Yes. Because she's just perfect. She's got the sass and her and Tyler are pretty much the same height difference that Lois and Clark are meant to be. Yeah. And just just see, seeing her bossing Tyler around would be so cool. <laughs> well a big look how she and little Peter in Teen Wolf. Yeah. She was kind of, she she wasn't really afraid of Peter. She was just kinda of like Yeah. Okay, you know. I'm seeing Peter as General Zod. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> Probably because Zod's kinda of like the Peter Yeah. <laughs> character kinda. Not again in, in Smallville is played by Callum Blue, so yeah, I can see the I can see the psychotic edge. <laughs> and if you know one thing about Ian, he can do psychotic. Oh yeah. Um, but, yeah. 
Now it's like we want questions, we want uh, subjects. We will literally talk about anything within reason. Yeah. <laughs> there are certain unless you want me unless you want to see me die from blushing. There are certain subjects that are either too um, P- PG thirteen for her, <laughs> or would probably get us killed. And we don't know anything about. <laughs> well, yeah, there's that. <laughs> It's like uh, somebody asked me about um, hotness factor, and I'm like, it, 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 freaking clue. That I can actually, cause I, I say like Daniel Sherman, he's gorgeous, he's hot. But if I had, if he was come up to me and say, come up to me all the time, I'd be like, no, come on, let, let, let's go for a cup of coffee. You know, I wasn't. I just, I just um, point people towards Jason Momoa, where at here is one I. I told him that me being at the convention was making one of my friends jealous, and he says, "Let's make them even more jealous." Comes over to me and looms like he's gonna bend down and kiss me, and I'm just like, the further he gets close to me, the further away I'm pulling. I'm like, I like you, mate, but no. no. I love you as an actor, but that's as far as it goes, dude. It's like when that that freaking autograph from Gareth. Yeah. Suck me off. No, thank you. I, for some reason, like, I think the actors kind of know that. Yeah, that they use as foils. It's yeah, even though like the actors that don't really know that well, like they just kind of, I don't know. Well, well, Gareth, after a while, he started using us as foils to piss the ones off that did fancy him. Yeah, I mean, like even like um, Daniel Sherman, he's just kind of like they're little shadow hunters, you know. Because he knows we, as long as the words Cassie Clare are part of the conversation, yeah. we're there. <laughs> he's like what? Yeah, try to just wrap this up. Yeah. Later <laughs> days, dude. Bye.